Okay, we're about to add a lakeside focuser system to a Mead 127 triplet, and the part where the uh, focuser bracket is going to go on will be the single speed uh, part of the focuser here. So what we're going to do first is we've loosened the small grub screw in there with a small Allen key, and we're just going to lift that off to show the spindle. Okay. The next job is to remove both the tension uh, and the locking nut here as well. So we want both those coming out completely because the bracket is going to go over those and then these will be screwed back in again in order to hold the bracket. So there's the first one. And there's the second one. Now we've done that the bracket will actually fit over the top, you can see here, a hole for the motor and the bracket will actually fit over the top here, something like that and those two screws will go back on in order to hold the bracket in place. Okay, now all I'm doing here is I'm loosely attaching the motor to the bracket and I've got a screw on this side um, and a bolt on that side. And what we need to also do once we've done that is actually position this like that to the outside as well and also put whichever way around you want really possibly inside for neatness to screw those in there like that as well. Now the next thing to do is to actually put the adapter part onto the spindle flat side facing the grub screw and then tighten that up and now once you've done that turn it the other way around I'll show you that in a sec right I fitted that screwed that bottom one in as you can probably see and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it so it's facing the other direction and you'll see why in a moment now what we need to do is fit the bracket motor into that adapter there as well But at the same time, make sure this bracket hole here goes over the sticky out tension knob. You should be able to just get that in. It's difficult with me holding this with one hand, so I'll come back and show you. What okay, the bracket is on. You can see this part here is through here. It's nicely lined up to screw those back on. The motor coupler is also attached now see here it's attached and I've screwed that allen key on the other side so all I need to do now is I said put those back on tighten those up and also adjust and tighten these screws so there's a nice straight line between the motor spindle and the focuser um, pin coming out of there so they're nice and nice and very nice and okay this is the final result you can see I've screwed these back on here to hold the plate bracket in place. This is where we'll join it up to the focuser box and I've tightened these screws up here. And it's all looking quite good. So just, just one final thing before we test it. I was slightly worried that the, the, the locking nut there on the uh, focuser, even though we've got a slightly thicker bracket here, I was worried about if I tightened it up that it was still, there's a chance, a slight slim chance that it might still rub on the focuser. So what I've done is I've put a rubber washer in between it um, and the bracket, that way it's definitely going to stay away from the, the inside of that when that moves and it's still locking that nicely on there. Well, here we are, I've got, the, uh, got it all rigged up. All I've basically done is I've connected the power on the serial cable. I've not put the computer one in, the, in at the minute because I didn't need it. And basically that just clips into the computer part bracket there. So if I move the out position You'll see the see that turning there. You should slightly see that moving there. And obviously you'll see it moving. Numbers moving on the board there. If you do want to see the numbers moving on the with the folks are attached on the draw tube there, you can see that the bit before the five is now about to disappear.
and then uh, reappear.